Millennium Force here. I got a special item here I would like to show you today. It's a railroad crossing and it's about a G scale size. It's something I've never seen before and it's not available everywhere. This one gentleman in Sacramento, California has a workshop and he's developed this himself. And he has a laser, laser 3D printer and he makes these things up. And let me tell you something, when you go to his website and you see this and when I show this to you now, you're going to want one of these. There's $75 plus shipping, which is $5, about $80, and you get one of these new railroad crossings. Check this thing out. It's cool. It looks identical, exactly like a railroad crossing. It operates like one. Watch this. If you hold this black button down for one second, this red light will turn on. Then the train gate will go down, stay down for two minutes, go back up, and stay up for about ten minutes. Then it'll start activating, go back down for another two minutes, go back up, and it repeats itself until you hit the button again. This can go on all day. Inside this box is the batteries. We got three AA batteries in there. Behind the batteries is the board. And there's a button for the bell to get turned on and off, but who wants the bell off? But anyway, the bell's inside there. You got the, uh, the batteries here. Let me put the casing back on. Okay. It takes two screws on the bottom, but I'm not putting them in because I'm showing you guys that, and it would take time for me to unscrew it. But anyway, here we go. We're going to activate it. Watch this. Push the button again, and it goes back up. Now I'm going to show you, because I bought two of these. I have a railroad track and I made a roadway over it, G scale, because it's about G scale size. And I got two of them now. I'm going to show you what it looks like if they both go down like a train was coming on your G scale set. We just got to get the gentleman to make a wire come out of here so it can be hooked up to a railroad track and the train will actually send it down. Or it can get its power source from the brass rails on the track. That would be the next idea for the gentleman to produce. Or something to plug it in the wall so we don't have to use batteries because it does kind of use up energy with the gate going down, the bell ringing, and the lights blinking. It uses up a lot of energy in those three AA batteries. So let's go over here and check out this. Alright guys, here we go. This is the railroad track. I built the roadway so the cars go over it. And we got two of the signal gates now. So I'm going to hit the button on both one at the same time. And look how real this looks. You can't get no real than this unless you're going to buy a real train or a real railroad crossing. But check this out. Now we're going to put them back up. Wasn't that cool? This is something I know y'all guys want to get.
Well, that was cool. We're going to do a video later on when it gets dark so you can see what it looks like at nighttime. And we're going to come over here to the website. <clears throat> the website is 1BVR Workshop. Like I said, this is a gentleman's website here, and he doesn't have much in his store, but he's got a few good things that he makes. He's also got signals. One BDR workshop. Some of his items, he's got train signals, the railroad crossing gate. These are cool these signals. The average between $75 and $85 for these items. And there's a traffic light there. So that's all he really offers is just these few things, but he makes them himself. So these are not available anywhere else. So if you want one of these railroad crossings, <clears throat> come to this site. One BDR workshop. Check it out. Order from him. He's from Sacramento, California. He ships fast. And uh, get one. They're fun to play with. And don't forget, the Millennium Force Tour 13 videos will be starting next week on Friday, July 30th at 8 p.m. And Saturday. So Fridays and Saturdays, mark on your calendar. We're going to have uh, premieres for these videos. It'll be the very first ones when I left on tour with Louie. So we go from Florida to as far as Pennsylvania, and that's when... My foot got injured and we had to cut the tour in half. But still enjoy the rest of these videos until I can get part two up of the tour. Alright guys, order a crossing gate and hope we see you next week on my videos when the tour 13 begins. Take care everybody. See ya. This has been a Millennium Force presentation. Come back and see me sometime, would ya? Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up like button. And I don't mean a thumbs up like anywhere else. See ya.